um, Ken was quite emotional. Oh, was he? After the game, he had <laughs> a rough few weeks. What are your emotions in the wake of a very frustrating afternoon? Well, it's an emotional business, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, nah. Look, I, I think it just highlights. Well, I'll probably go through it this week. I don't know that you just got to focus on the the process inside because there's wild gyrations outside. So, yeah. I thought for where they were at, and really the real situation was. Um, but that, but that's for them, and I, honestly, I'm not here to make judgment on anyone outside. So. Um, yeah, for, for our own case, um, frustrated. Because I thought everything bar this centre square bounces in the first half, I thought was pretty good. Yeah. Um, I thought we matched their intensity. Mm. Um, our ball movement was really good. We, we like, when we kick, 8 5 off possession game, 53 points, and they kick 4 8 or something. So mm. we win the possession game, kick ins, we turned it over. But um, our Achilles heel is stoppage work. Um, and it has been for a long time. We, we understand that. We, we understand some of the reasons why. Um, but particularly centre square bounce, to be fair to our mids, over the course of the year they've been pretty good, but mm -hmm. the first half um, they, they got taught a lesson, to be fair. And I thought that was putting the team under a lot of pressure. At least at half time they, they sort of found a way, although there was, there was less, um, to sort of some scrappier exits, and we won a couple. I think it was only five, not a lot of goals kicked in the second half. So, yeah, yeah half time was 45 all. It was really interesting, the score. And then we just, they applied a lot of heat in the third, 20 tackles to nine. Our pressure was low. And um, they, they scored well and we kicked four points. So, that was disappointing. Didn't see that coming. And then yeah. just spoke about that at three quarter time. Just said, well, here's the tackles numbers and the pressure. And nothing's really changed. So, we're not here to save anything. And I thought we we're, were really strong for the. The majority of the early part of that quarter, I think it was 10 entries or 8 to 0. Um, and then they were able to find a little bit of time and space. So, um, third quarter disappointing. I'd probably take the other three quarters, mm. to be fair. Um, um, so, yeah, and that, that stoppage work. You know, I just said their midfield's like Hydra, isn't it? Like, you, you cut off Butter's head and Rosie goes mad early, but then you. You sort of break even, you get a bit of ball yourself and um, and then Horn Francis just explodes in the third, right? Like, what does he have, 13? And all credit to him. I thought he, not only did he win it, I thought his spread yeah. was really strong and we could feel, not feel, you could see it from the box, the spread and his power. So I thought he he come with an intent to lift that team mm. and then he probably fried himself a bit for the last because he, when I had a look, Majority of the last quarter that too. So sometimes you've got to recognise our mids, got to recognise he's going, he's giving everything and just sort of hang on yeah. and work him until he stops because he's going to stop and you just hopefully keep going. So look, we, we understand that's a work in progress in there. So um, I know there's a lot to like, but it's probably been the, our year. We just can't seem to get it done for four quarters. And our stoppage Achilles just keeps coming to the fore. That's what I would say. Yeah. Yeah. So hopefully that gives you a bit of an insight to how we're feeling. And, mm. um, but I thought on the character piece of the fight, really, I think we got caught up in anticipating and short-term results. But since going over the West Coast, um, I thought we showed pretty good character in the next four games, including today. So... Um, so that enables you to identify the things I've just spoken about and keep yeah. working on it. So, um, yeah, I thought Caminiti just grew again down back. I thought Sean Maker showed a little bit. I thought Nazai Wang and Emilio just showed was going to be incredible for us over a long period. And Sinclair, I thought Wilkie was incredible in battle. I thought the two rucks we're, we're trying to improve. Um, so there were some really good signs. And then those things I spoke about that weren't great. Windhager fought on. Yeah. Um, but I say going forward, which is okay. Um, yeah, and as I said, Hydra sort of popped up. <laughs> and then Sinclair, who'd been so clean, has that kick out straight to... Yeah, but that happens. That's fine. Yeah. That happens. Um, that happens. So I thought at three-quarters time we shuffled it around. Yeah. 
We tried to regenerate our midfield. Put we put Sinclair in there. We put Owens in there. Um, so, you know, we I thought Cooper Sharma come on, gave us some life. We subbed out the ruck. So we we shifted Hunter Clark back. We put Dow forward because he wasn't firing midfield as as he can. And um, so we, we we did try some things. We were king into the ruck. I I, I loved his. Because he's had two shoulder recos since I've been at the club, and you know you see Danaher, you know going to the ruck, and so I, when we subbed out Campbell, we needed a second ruck, so we just sent the runner out. And he said, "Whatever you want, coach," and he sort of wanted to do it. So we'll, we'll sort of try to grow that aspect because it just frees him up a bit from yeah. getting sat on, and when we're not getting a lot of clean ball to him, it can yeah. be hard. So. In a weird way, that that's a bit of a win for us as well. So I I really admired his mental, because to, to come through that is a little bit difficult. But he took a step forward today with that. Because you had a couple of moments in that last quarter where he's on to Thatcher, who's a smaller player, but he's a he's a as Kenny said he's a competitive beast. And Sir Thatcher actually got him out the way and outmarked him. Yeah, sometimes that's just anger the ball coming yeah. in. To be honest, like honestly. Um, if the ball's on the wrong side here, to get to it against a modern day player is very difficult. Um, Thanks, guys. Uh, one last thing, what's from, what went through your mind when Jack had that shot on goal and he snapped the run and just took a... Oh, Hickens? I, I, we saw your reaction from the box. Well, I did drop my head. I didn't really see it too late because I was looking behind. Look, it's a craft, isn't it? He's, he's been very good for us. Um, he's pretty consistent in what he does. I couldn't tell you if that's exactly what he does from that spot. So I'll just ask him, did you stick to your routine? And if we go sailing through, we're all happy. I think he's done a couple of them during the year that he, I don't know, he might have to put that away. I don't know. Could you sense, Ross, that at three quarter time that Port were perhaps fatiguing and that's why you made the decisions to uh, remix that uh, midfield combination at three quarter time? No, no, we made the decision to remix it because they were well and truly on top in there. So we shifted Henry out, shifted Dow out. And Sinclair's, you know, he's a Mr. Fix-It. And I thought he lit us up early in the last. I thought he was fantastic. Yeah, they just send a bit more composure, particularly late in the game. Is that a real realistic thing to say? I mean, they, they just, that couple of key moments in the game where you just couldn't get it out of the defensive part of the ground when you'd been so good all day? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. And Mitch is a young player. It's not why we won a loss, because it was like 40 seconds to go, but it was like, dare not to go straight down the line. So he'll play for us for a long time, so I hope he takes that lesson. I don't know, maybe if you think we're having a shot with Higgins and we've got goal line stuff, and we're probably not talking like this, you know? So, um, yeah, not sure. Did you get any injuries? Bradley? No, yeah, they, Bradley just got a knock and come off. I was screaming and getting back on, and yeah. Cameron needed, had a rolled ankle from the week before. I thought he was pretty brave. And Paddy Dow probably, you know, he had, had a bad ankle out of Brisbane and he worked to get up. So, you know, it didn't quite work for him today, but I admire that he wanted to get up. Yeah, so, yeah, not really other than that. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.